All right, guys, let's talk work orders. So work orders, uh, they're literally the blueprint of your entire business. You know, do you even have work orders? What do they look like? Can your team decipher those work orders? Uh, do you track anything from them? You know, whenever it comes down to it, um, work orders, they really are the backbone to everything you're gonna be doing operationally and on the business end. So what we're gonna talk about today is one of my favorite apps uh, for work order creation and how you can actually use it too, and it is called Trello. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Brian, and I help people improve their painting businesses. So uh, what we're gonna talk about today is one of my favorite apps by far for work order creation. Okay, um, I personally use it for work orders um, solely. A lot of people that I've talked to have used it for like other things as well. But um, today we're just gonna do a deep dive on like what it can look like for you if you actually utilize this app and platform just for the uh, sole purpose of doing work orders. Okay, so why I like this app though, um, there's actually a couple reasons on why like I'm just like crazy about it. <laughs> um, I actually just started using this about a year and a half ago and uh, I ha I've, I've never looked back since. But um, before we kind of do like a more of a deeper dive into it later, um, the main reasons why I genuinely love using this app for work orders um, is because reason number one, it's mobile friendly. So um, literally every single person in my entire company, including me, the other owners, all operations staff, crew leads, um, everybody across the board um, has access to it on their phone. Okay, so it, it's free for everybody else to kind of just like be linked and synced up to a board. Um, well, actually, the uh, second reason why I like it so much is because it's very inexpensive. Um, the the app in itself is actually free, but um, if you actually dive into adding more of the actual custom fields, then um, that's where there's like add-ons for like pricing options and stuff like that from there. But um, we're actually going to dive into what my boards actually look like in a couple minutes, but um, before we get into that, I'll actually show you what uh, mine kind of looks like with the add-ons, because in terms of the inexpensive uh, nature of it, I only pay $59 a year for uh, the package that I use, and um, I've really seen no need to kind of go any further uh, for the work order specific purpose. So. Um, yeah, like the fact that it's just mobile, um, everybody can use them on their cell phones, um, I can sync everybody that I want to, and the fact that it's inexpensive, I just love uh, those two factors first. Um, the other reason is uh, everyone can be linked, and you know, there's really no limit to where like, it, like I can have my operations staff in on it, I can have the executive team, the owners, project management, um, even people in the back end on the office doing the office work who need to be um, logging onto work orders to print them. Um, just anything you can kind of think of, it's just really uniform and everyone can kind of be on the same page. And um, the fact that everyone's on the same page, there's just an immense amount of benefits to kind of come out from it as well. Okay, so um, before I kind of dive into what my boards actually look like, um, I do want to toss out there that um, if you have never used the Trello app and you're kind of curious about what to do and what it looks like, um, and how it's integrated on your phone, um, drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know. Um, I can actually add you to my Trello boards so you can kind of get like a visual of what mine actually look like. Um, that way you can like physically copy my layouts. I have no problem uh, doing that. All I need is for you to download the app and just get your username and then you can just, uh, send it over to me and I'll just kind of add you right away. But um, let's take a deep dive into what these boards actually look like. Um, I do apologize in advance the quality is not like perfect. I'm literally going to be showing you on my computer screen. So let's just dive into it real quick. So here's uh, what Trello looks like. So whenever you log in, uh, there's basically just going to be like a blank page. Um, these are actual cards that I created. So like you see some six, uh, needs accepted, in progress, backlog, and complete. I use this board for um, all of my subcontractor teams. But if I take you over to my master board right here, this is where all of my jobs are uh, for my company. So like you can see like what's in progress currently, you can see what the backlog is, and then exterior is 2020, 
these are all the jobs that we already sold that are just sitting there waiting to be produced. So like I can actually pick from these jobs if it's a subcontract team for example and I can just like go into it uh, where is it I'm used to using this on my phone so it's kinda trippy so you can actually move boards to different other boards so like brands painting um, I can actually move this job to that subcontract right there for them to like look at this work order on their phones take a peek at it uh, I can add a job payout for them based on the number of labor hours and then they can basically accept it if everything looks pretty good and up to, uh, up to date on it or they can decline it but as you can see here um, there's a lot that really goes into it um, a lot of this stuff I actually uh, did all this stuff uh, custom that's on the side here in all these fields but like uh, what actually I'll probably just start at the top for you so like whenever you dive into it um, you can just like actually add a job name right here so I just put the last name of the, the customer and then the exterior portion right here if it's interior I'll make sure it's interior um, there's labels right here so like this label section you can actually create your own labels so like my team will know if it's a spray job trim and eaves exterior if it's everything interior um, you name it okay so this is kinda how I classify stuff I basically just just been doing interior versus exterior. Uh, down here, I, this is where the, the actual scope work order comes into play. So I just kind of keep it simple. Um, this is just an entire text field that you can just make from scratch. So it's really situational depending on like how you want to word it. But I typically have what the scope is here. So here you can say we're pa we're painting one coat to the tree house stand area, two coats everywhere else, and then a third coat to the south side of the garage. Um, the team knows exactly what we are painting right here, uh, what we're not painting, uh, any specific job specs, and then the paint specs. Okay, as you go down here, there's a location field. So again, all of these like custom fields over here, um, if I didn't pay that $59 per month, I'll be limited to like only a couple of these instead of all of them. So paying that like little fee for the year allows me to have everything I needed for this. So address is right there. Here, here are the custom fields that I typically use. So uh, you'll have the customer name, customer cell, uh, how many days or in, in the actual production goal right there, budgeted hours, actual hours. Um, I'll get to this in a minute. Job payout. So if it's a subcontractor job. Um, I'm able just to like t t uh, toss in like a number here. So say it's like four thousand dollars. You just click it, and then that's something that they can view on their end. But then uh, wash down. If it's wash down, you can actually get into the app and check it off. You know how many coats there are. Recommended crew size for the production goal right there, and vice versa. Um, you can actually add pictures and upload these. So whenever I'm actually out selling the job. If I if I close it on the spot, I'll typically upload these from my phone in the field, and then later I'll come back on my desktop, which I am on my laptop. <clears throat> it's easy, it's easier to like edit and um, input all this stuff, but you could do everything that I'm doing right now on your phone. Um, I usually add a prep section down here. Uh, this is like one of the checklist platforms. So again, like the crew leads that are looking at this and doing their homework before they hop onto the job. They know exactly what goes into a prep wise. Um, as they progress through it, again, they can go on their phones, check mark stuff off to kind of just like keep it on track. That's good if you're kind of just like, you know, extending this over a long period of time. Paint section, again, you apply one coat of deck and dock to the treehouse area, two coats of super paint everywhere else. I typically like to add the budget targets here too. Um, this is what I meant by having a culture of accountability. So again, like how many hours to wash down, how many hours do we budget to prep, and how many paint hours do we budget? So like all together, my crew leads, they're the ones that are t typically looking at all this to make sure that they can plan, strategize, and make sure it gets done on time. Because we incentivize every crew lead to get it done with a production bonus if they finish under the hours. Okay. So at the very bottom down here, 
You can add comments. Um, again, as, as the company admin, um, I typically add in what the recommended paint order is. So I'll just go in here, uh, add in like color and sheen alterations as well. But then the crew, like, there, there's no second guessing and like no time to kind of like think, like, what do we got to order to start the job? All of it's right here. Um, I can just place the order and have the team pick it up. Uh, team, other team members are able to like write a comment here. Just write hello, save. So again, everybody can like kind of like comment here, and that's what we do in terms of daily tracking. I typically have crew leads at the end of each day. Uh, write a comment down here, just tracking how many hours were worked on this job today, how many prep hours, how many paint hours. Um, that's the uh, culture of accountability that I typically kind of um, instilled in us. And it's been working out pretty great because you can just go in here and track it at the end of the, end of the day. But, um, but yeah, that's that's Trello in a nutshell. Um, I typically do that to kind of like uh, do work orders for every single job. Um, cool thing I like about this, you can actually go to the share option down here. Again, this is on my laptop. You can print it. And you can actually print these out as work orders on physical paper and put them in your job folders for your site and hand them to the crew lead so they have them in person and on their phone. Okay, so again, for only $59 a year, um, it is well worth the investment. Um, everybody in all my company knows exactly what's going on, what the backlog is. You know, it's also uh, an accountability factor for me as well. Um, in the sense that, like, if I know that I don't have enough jobs for my team, you know, in two weeks, they'll know that pretty quickly too. Um, so it's kind of like a nice pressure builder on my end to do more sales. But um, again, that's Trello in a nutshell. If you have any other question or want to see these actual cards on your phone, uh, post in the comments, and then uh, we'll just get your username, and then I'll add you to my board. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, simple tutorial. Um, as you can see, it, it just it's a means of me just keeping everything organized, making sure we're every, everybody's on the same page in my company. Um, it's just worked better than everything else that I've used before. Um, that's why I wanted to kind of do a deep dive and make a video. Um, it's something really easy to kind of just like start integrating into your own company if you would want to. Um, I think bottom line, whatever it comes down to it, uh, the biggest benefits that I've seen from using something like this, um, I think the biggest thing is just the culture of accountability. So uh, I touched on that a little bit a couple minutes ago, but um, my crew leads, they're the ones actually looking at the job cards, doing their homework the day before they actually come onto the job for the first time. So like they're mentally prepared to know what to do and how to do it to set themselves up for success in order to produce it profitably. Um, we, we do bonus crew leads as well to be getting jobs done on time so like they're intrinsically motivated to make sure that they can do their homework on it the right way um, but that culture of accountability uh, ever since I started doing that and asking my, my crew leads at the end of each work day to like just type in on, on the comment section on each card um, how many hours were logged this day how much were prep how much were paint were there any hiccups today uh, what was the material spent for the day all of those numbers they put in themselves at the end of the workday and um, eventually they just kind of caught on to that main routine and it's great for me because I can just log into that um, see it at the end of the workday um, and then for me I'll just relay that to our office staff and say hey guys uh, you gotta plug in this info right here for like our daily job tracking per job um, it, it just helps streamline a ton of efficiency on all ends of the company so um, but yeah, I, I, I mean, like, again, if, if someone's not doing that on your team and, like, you can tell that they're kind of just, like, not caring about entering the stats, again, that really comes back to the culture of accountability. Um, you can use that as, as a challenge or, like, something to kind of, like, hold them accountable towards. To, if they don't do it, um, you know, they're, they're probably not a right fit for your team. So, uh, again, uh, accountability gives you the option to track statistics if you use it the right way. Um, you get massive buy-in from everybody on your team that's doing it, and uh, the second that you get your entire team bought into like tracking and being mentally prepared for everything, um, it just trickles down the chain and it, it gets streamlined from there. And I, I think that's kind of like one of the biggest contributors of like me and my company being as profitable as we are. 
Uh, we, we've never been as profitable as we are right now um, after we had our entire staff integrated with this system. Um, and, and, and last but not least, it's just inexpensive and everyone's just on the same page. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, quick tutorial on this. Um, if, you, if you don't have Trello or if you're curious about it, I strongly recommend downloading it. Um, again, you can drop a comment in the comment section below. And uh, if you download the app, um, we'll work out a way to where you can just text me your username. I'll add you to my Trello board and I'll kind of walk you through it just so you can take a peek at how um, I integrate everything. And then you can even copy my exact template model and use it for you and your company. Um, this is painting specific for me and my company, but honestly, I've seen every single trade across the board utilize this. Um, it's a super, super powerful medium. If you're already uh, utilizing work orders, phenomenal. If it's working for you, I wouldn't recommend changing much. But um, then again, you know, it doesn't really hurt to try. But until next time, uh, again, my name is Brian, and uh, Trello is by far my favorite app to utilize. I hope you take advantage. I'll catch you in the next video.